WBTW News 13. And thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Bob Chivak. And I'm Megan Miller. Breaking news first still on News 13 at 6. As we investigate this former Hartsville police officer turned Darlington County Sheriff's Office captain and who was almost Darlington's new police chief. Mark Campbell was about to be fired from the Hartsville PD back in 2020, but he resigned while facing allegations of sexual misconduct on the job. So we ask, how was he eligible then to be hired by another agency? News 13's Manny Martinez is live in our newsroom with the answer after checking in today with the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy. And Manny, what did you learn? Bob and Megan, we learned the Academy relies on individual agencies to report transgressions. And while Hartsville PD intended to terminate then Patrol Sergeant Mark Campbell for policy violations, which included breaking his oath of office, ethics, and sexual misconduct, the intent to fire Campbell never made it to the Academy, and the Academy says it didn't need to. That left Campbell free to find another job in law enforcement. Mark Campbell's in his second stint with the Darlington County Sheriff's Office. He was fired in 2017 for a policy violation that didn't involve misconduct and then rehired in 2021, two months after his resignation from Hartsville PD. We just learned this week, following a Freedom of Information Act request, that Campbell turned in his resignation letter with Hartsville Police in November of 2020 after an internal investigation recommended his immediate firing. The review stemmed from a string of inappropriate texts Campbell sent in September of 2020 to a Walmart employee he met on duty at a shoplifting call. Campbell admitted to the accusations and told Hartsville PD it was a joke gone wrong. We asked the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy how an officer didn't qualify Campbell's actions as one of 11 written forms of officer misconduct in South Carolina. It apparently did not rise to that level. They did not submit paperwork as an allegation of misconduct. Uh, so then that person would be eligible to be hired somewhere else if an agency wants to hire them. Swindler says because Campbell quit before his firing, Hartsville police only had to notify the academy of his exit and didn't need to mention the internal investigation. They don't have perhaps a written obligation to send you a termination request, but do they have a moral obligation to send you no, that request? No, I mean, they, they do not. If they turn in paperwork to us that they left uh, and resigned in lieu of termination, we would have that if they turned that in. But they are not obligated to tell us that they were going to be terminated. The Academy confirmed it only had Campbell's resignation on file. If Hartsville submitted Campbell for misconduct and he was found guilty, Campbell wouldn't have been eligible for police work anywhere in South Carolina. Swindler says another agency looking to hire an officer would have to do its due diligence with the prospective candidate. And Campbell was hired by the Darlington County Sheriff's Office in January of 2021. Sheriff James Hudson told News 13 he asked Hartsville if Campbell had any alarms, to which he says he was told no. The Sheriff's Office found out about Campbell's past last month after sending an information request to the city of Hartsville. Hudson says he wouldn't have made the hire knowing what he knows now, but adds Campbell has done, quote, exceptionally great work since joining his department. And we reached Mark Campbell over the phone today. He told us he had no comment about his departure from Hartsville. We also reached out to Hartsville PD for comment, and we're told Chief Thompson was unavailable. Read more of this story and look at some of the documents right now at WBTW.com. Live in the newsroom tonight, Manny Martinez, News 13.